That's how we're doing it. I mean, if you want something, you go get it. You want to buy something, you save up money, you go get it. Why? Because that will make you happy. And we take these steps in the wrong direction that will actually take you away from your dreams. Oh, don't worry, Nick. Drugs and alcohol won't take me away from my dreams and my purpose and sex and all that. No. But I tell you, it actually will. Because you go to a level of drinking and you go to a level of drugs and it's not enough. You'll find that out. And then you try something new. And then you'll also go to school and people will put you down. And parents will tell you that you're a failure because you failed at a test. And you start believing the lies around you, saying that you're not good enough and no one's going to want you and you'll never ever do anything good in your life and you'll never ever you know, achieve, the, achieve the dreams and goals that you wish you had done or wish that you could do. And these steps take you closer. That voice saying, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, and all you need is one more step to fall. So you have a choice to know which step you're going to take today. Let me ask you, do you know who you are? You want to know who I think you are? You care about what your friends think who you are. You, know, you care about their opinion. You want to know who I am? You want to know what I think you are? I'll tell you right now. I don't care how you look. Honestly, if you're 400 kilos, I'm going to come up to you and give you a hug and say that I love you. I don't care if you're fat, short, tall, thin. What I don't care, man. I really don't care how you look. I don't care what you're good at. I don't care what you're not good at. I don't care if you like rock and roll music or not. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you're a good mathematician or a good athletic or not good at anything that you think. But I'm going to come and tell you that you're awesome just the way you are. I know so many teenagers who look themselves in the mirror and wish that they had a different body. Girls, you're beautiful just the way you are. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Just, I love you just the way you are. And you boys, you're the man. Because it's not how you look. When you see me for the first time, many of you felt sorry for me. Do you feel sorry for me anymore? No. Why? Because you know who I am. But don't you remember I have no arms and no legs? Would you want to be my friend? Of course you would. Why? Because you like who I am. But I have no arms and no legs. And you're going to say, so what? So when you say, well, I have this or I don't have that, I'm going to go, so what? I don't care. You are worth more than diamonds. All the diamonds in the world, you are so precious. Every single one of your hearts, you can do something. Not just something that you can do, but you can live life. Life is not always good. Life is always not rosy. But life is worth living. When you find purpose. Nick, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know. My parents want me to do this. My teachers want me to do that. My friends think that I should do this. And I don't know what to do. And you're torn, man. You don't know what to do. You have to make important decisions, man. You don't know what to do. Who do you believe? Follow your heart. If that's who you want to be, if that's what you want to do in life, then walk to it. One day at a time. That phone might feel so far away. In fact, it might seem impossible for you to reach that. Let's say that phone was all the way at the back of the room. How am I going to get off this table? I can't. How am I going to get there? I can't. But I want you to know that nothing is impossible. And if it is impossible for your dreams to come true, let's say you want to become a pilot and you can't be a pilot for some reason, maybe your eyesight or maybe your height. I know somebody who couldn't be a pilot. They're doing something now that they actually love to do. See, all things come together for the good. That's how it is in my life. You see, there's nothing good about having no arms and no legs, is there? No. If I, you know, click my fingers, metaphorically speaking, and your arms and legs disappeared, do you think you'd be happy with me? No, you'd come run after me and headbutt me, okay? 
because there's nothing good about having no limbs. But I love my life. Do you want to know why? Because I've seen the purpose. Because I have no arms and no legs, you're all listening to what I have to say. This is maybe the most attentive you've been in any guest speaker. Because everybody else is boring and what would they know anyway? That's what you think. Don't worry, I was at school too. Like, what do you know? I don't care what many people have to say. They have no idea what I'm going through. What pain do they know? But you see me and you see what sort of pain I could go through and what I've gone through. And all of a sudden now, I'm seeing all of you and maybe for the first time, you're believing these words out of my mouth saying, I love you. And you don't even know me, but you actually believe that I do love you. You see, it's an unconditional love. You don't have to do anything for me to love you. I just love you. Why? I don't know. Because I just love you. Why? It's love. It's unconditional love. Not only is it about you and your life, but what about the people around you? You know, if, if you think that you have no purpose, Nick, I don't know what I want to do. You know, I wish I could do this, but I don't think this is going to happen in my life. Let me tell you this. So many people came up to me and said, Nick, I don't have a purpose. I don't know what to do in my life. Let me ask you one thing. If you went through your life full of pain, full of tears, and at the end of your life, you actually saved somebody's life, is your life worth living? Is the pain worth someone's life? If you could actually save somebody? Can you imagine? If you actually saw somebody nearly get run over a car, you dive and get them out of the way of the car, for instance, an example, would that be worth living? You save somebody's life. I don't know. What about this? Let's say that you have a problem in your life and you want to give up now. Imagine if someone 10 years older who's gone through the exact same thing that you have actually got through it and came to you and said, you know what, I know how it feels. I've been there. I've been going through what you're going through now, but I'm still here. Would that not encourage you? Could that possibly save your life? Yes. Is that not a purpose worth living for? And that's why I believe in you, because that is the greatest purpose. It's to love. Honest. It's to, it sounds corny, whatever you want to say. I don't care. I love people because there is freedom and power in loving people. You have a choice. Every day you come to school to either tease somebody, gossip about somebody, or you can go up to them and encourage them. You can go up to somebody and say, hey, you're looking good today. When you ask them how you're doing and they say, okay, and you know they're not okay, you can say, no, really, how are you doing? You could save somebody's life. Oh, really, Nick? No, I don't think so. Check this out. I was six years old, grade one, 12 people teased me. I counted them all on my fingers. <laughs> 12 people teased me. And at the end of the day, 10 to 3, in the afternoon, I said, I can't do this. If one more person teases me today, that's it. I'm going to give up. And I'm driving in my wheelchair, my BMW 7 Series, to my, to my parents, right? And there is this one girl who yells out, Hey, Nick! And I'm thinking, great, here it is. She comes to me and she says, Nick, I just want you to know that you're looking good today. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> The power of encouragement. You can save a person's life. Because I tell you, I was walking, man, this way. You're not good enough. People telling me, no one loves you. you don't, there's nothing good in your life. You can't do this. You can't do that. No one's going to want to marry you and all these sort of things and get to the edge. And all I needed was that one more person to tell me that I wasn't good enough. And I'll be down there. Do you know that you could be that one person for somebody else to push them over? You don't know how many people have eating disorders in this school. You don't know how many people want to hurt themselves in this school. They hide it. You don't know how many people hate their life. 